she proved herself with no other tune, period. The girls just aren't doing it like that anymore. They aren't. Sorry, I'm trying to... He wants to sing, it, it seems. Right? I know, That's Yaga right. does like to sing. <laughs> he really likes Hero. <laughs> See? All right. When, when I'm... All when right, he get... stays with me, when I'm babysitting and he stays with me, he harmonizes very well. And then Melissa comes home and undoes all of my vocal training I've done with him. And now he howls like a dog instead of whistles like Mariah Carey. So to get this... Remember when I said the girls just aren't doing it like this. Nobody yeah. on Food Network has the range <laughs> <laughs> to cover all this in one manic episode of the All show. right, we got, we got to keep going. But literally nice. the soup is going to be non-existent by the time we get to Yeah. It. Is he talking to us? I think. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> is he doing it on purpose? Uh, yeah. Zach, hi. So we're gonna throw these back in the oven and wait till they are more. He's out. So, welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. Yes, welcome, this Mariah. Is Mariah Jr. and mm -hmm. I'm Melissa Avery. Yes, indeed. You know, I used to... That's why Melissa is shoving alcohol down my throat all the time, because she's jealous, and she wants me to be talentless. I mean, I did go to performing arts high school, and I got in for musical theater, and I did, in fact, have to sing. And now the girl cannot hold a tune. You I've missed too many the reason drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. The reason why we were in the Mariah Carey tailspin era was because I said autotune was invented in 1993, which is after Mariah's debut and after several live performances. Like, everybody knows that she really is that girl. And Melissa said, coincidentally, that's the same year I was born. So for a vocalist, it's really quite a coincidence. So today... 15 minutes later, let's we, get to the cooking. <laughs> we are making... Bacon sticks. Now you might have seen this. That sounds like kind of inappropriate. No wonder Yager's excited. It sounds like yeah. a dog. Well, no, treat. he loves bacon, so we are gonna make one or two slices with nothing on them for him, mm. so he gets something out of this transaction. <laughs> so you've probably seen this trend on TikTok. It is a trend right now where I got the idea. Where I have not seen it. We're just jazzing it up and making it way, way better with all of our extra little toppings. So, all you're gonna need is some bacon. Now, very crucial that you get thin sliced bacon or just normal sliced bacon. If you get thick cut, you can't spiral it. It's like not gonna give what it was supposed to give. Yeah, exactly. So, thin bacon is crucial. Are we just ignoring the chaos? <laughs> he really, he no. isn't it wild? You saw I pulled out the bacon and It's now, not even, like, oh, like, you can't smell it. Like, I mean, it's in might, a sealed he, package. He might be able to just smell it. I don't know, girl. I think that you have created a monster today. I have. So, the spices that we add to give this the little hot girl kitchen flair that it deserves, paprika, very crucial ingredient. Italian seasoning, some crushed red pepper, and then the two actual important signature ingredients. Signature items. Signature items that are absolutely Hawk Girl Kitchen. Crucial. Mm -hmm. Mission we're, critical. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some honey. This, These are so cute. I love little bears. Even like, though I hate bears in real life. I hate their guts. Why? Did you not ever hear the video of the guy getting torn into shreds by a bear? I mean, like, Me not this bear. So, to get to the bacon, very simple, simple. What we're going to do, I might need you to... Finish. And you forgot the most important part. Oh, yeah, we got distracted because you were... Speaking of all of our stand pages, <laughs> the most important stand was second behind Mariah's, is the Trader Joe's stand page. And also, the everything but the bagel seasoning is a very crucial ingredient for these bacon sticks. 
So to get started, I'm going to need you to hand me um, the pan there, please. Oh my God. And now I was signing up for all this. So what you're going to do, take your slimy bacon. Ugh, not an ideal. So you're going to wrap it so it starts to form a little twisty. Like a Twizzler. Yeah. And then you lay it down on your paper. And we're just going to do that for all the pieces. So we, we aren't going to show you that because it'll take a moment. And yeah, they'll probably unroll a little bit, but you just need them to kind of have this stick. Do you have kebabs, skewers? No, we can just we can just leave them. For someone that's in such a hurry, you sure are taking a lot of time drinking. So now that we twisted all our bacon, I left one or two pieces for yogurt. We're just gonna take a couple of spices. We're gonna start with our paprika. Well, you better be careful that you don't get it on his. I'm seeing a few spots. Okay. And this one is mine with the kebab, if you can't tell how nice and tightly can't wrapped it here. is. So we're going to do some red pepper flakes. And mine was conveniently ignored by the paprika. Well, it's by yogurt, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, she put it there on purpose. I'm telling you, everything I do, she sabotages. The Italian seasoning. This actually is another crucial thing. This Italian seasoning, I'm pretty sure, has rosemary in it, and I think that the, oh. the rosemary really gives the bacon a little extra edge kick. Yeah, I got one sprinkle of Italian seasoning on mine. Okay, you, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Your next to yogurt. So, we're going to throw these in the oven. Now, don't forget about them, but these are going to sit for a little bit. They're at least 20 minutes, because you really, you want to cook them, cook them to the point of, like crunchy so they can stand up on their own but we're actually going to take them out right probably like five to ten minutes before they're actually done to add our last two ingredients taking matters into my own hands so as you can see we took the bacon out it's still not like rock solid it's a little gooey but it's starting to get cooked and crispy so we're going to take our honey and do some thick Drizzles. Mmm. Who doesn't love a thick drizzle? And then more over here. I think you missed mine again. There we go. Yeah, drench that stick. So we got some nice honey on there, and then we just do a little bit of our seasoning. And it's nice with the honey because it truly sticks to the bacon. To our bacon sticks. What is that? Oh my god. What was that? Our camera. What did it just do? Zach must be talking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. What do we have here? Some nice limp um, bacon sticks. He's mad because the one that he wrapped up in his... Where did you put it? Did you throw it out? Yeah. I wanted to show them how pretty it looked. I mean, it looked great, but it but was... I couldn't get the stick out. It was, I hate when... It when shrank to literally the stick. Like, they were now one unit. One. Yeah. It's really the worst when you can't get the stick out. Um... Cheers, and oh, never mind, it's in your mouth. Ew, I don't want to cheers that saliva coated piece. But, anyways, it is a little limp, and Melissa thinks maybe we overdid it on the honey. But personally, I think that that's okay because the honey is gonna really add the flavor and, for me. And it does. You'll see. Mm. How incredible. And do you hear the crunch? It's still crunchy, it just doesn't stand up Ste on its yeah. own. Which, I mean, how the hell? These are so skinny. And it's they're like, already so cooked. Like, how much more cooked could we have made them? Right. It's like, these are so skinny. They do, re they do remind me of myself. And sometimes I have a hard time standing. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, you just er, you fall down a little. Aren't know? these really something? They're bomb. And, they, and 
something so simple. You took one ingredient that normally, when you cook bacon, you do nothing to it. You put it in the oven or put it on the skillet and just let mm. it do its thing. But when you give it those extra little somethings. Some extra love. Mm. Look at it. Look at it go. It shows the love right back, okay? It sure does. Mm -hmm. And on that note. Show us some love. Like and subscribe. Y'all would need some bacon. so Y'all would like some love. Bye. Real high girl shit. <laughs>